Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. I want to apologize for my last video, the part one or whatever on this Mexican made squire. Uh, the, my computer completely shut down in the middle of un, uh, uploading that video. Lockdown. I finally got the thing unlocked today. I don't know if I picked up some malware, some kind of virus, something. I finally got it fixed. So the other half of the first video, if I can get to it, if it's available, I'll try to add it in somewhere maybe in this video. If not, then we're going to go with it where we're at. So in the first video, we talked about the urban legend as to whether these guitars were American bodies and American necks that were sent to Mexico and and equipped with import hardware and Mexican pickups. That's the urban legend. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I go into a little bit of reasoning on the neck in the first video about why I don't think it's an American neck, mainly that little plastic insert there at the truss rod for one thing. And... Then I went on into about the body. I'm convinced this is a Mexican body just by the routing. The, it's just the neck pocket, the way it's routed. It just doesn't, if I stripped it down, I'd say it was probably four pieces of wood, maybe five. It's just, it's some type of hardwood because the, the screws really bite into it. When I had the pit guard, when I changed pit guards, they really... You know, it, basswood or something's really soft. You can almost just, it's hard to keep from stripping a screw. These were actually tightened in the wood. So it's a probably alder body, I would say. Uh, but it's not, it's not an American body, I don't think. I mean, and the thing is, I don't see, I've not seen any, uh, you know, shipping manifest or any, anything to prove that these were supposed to be American bodies and necks other than just my uncle Tom's first cousins whatever worked at Fender back then he said yes that's I mean I hadn't seen anything that tells me that they're anything other than that and that's that's okay there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing here's the pickups that came out of it uh, ceramic pickups. I actually put these in when I put the better electronics in and uh, of course all that footage got lost. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, they sounded about like I expected them to sound really, really bad. So got those out. I think they're Squire pickups because of the, the wire. Just the way, I don't think they're even Mexican pickups. So I, I'm going to say this was a made in Mexico body and neck that had import hardware. I think Fender was trying another one of their deals. This was in the early 90s, mid 90s. I think this was some of their marketing stuff to just see how a guitar like this would sell or whatever. That's my theory. I don't know. You know, and I'm not calling anybody out that says anything otherwise. They may know more than I do. What I did do is I got rid of the, the stock pit guard, single ply looking affinity or bullet style with the old, you know, cheap dime pots, 500K cheapo switch. Rid of that complete junk was when it was new. So that's gone. I put on a black pit guard, kind of gilmore -ish -y kind of thing. Uh, you know, no, I didn't do the the Gilmore mod because I have a guitar like that that I never use that. So there's no point, and I'm not trying to copy his guitar because the fretboard radius is incorrect. The headstock's the wrong size, and yada 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 yada. You know, but I thought the black pit guard looked cool. I was hoping that the old stained up nicotine encrusted pickup covers will fit the new pickups but they won't so anyway they're really really white the knobs aren't the switch tip is white this is somewhat white so what i've got in here is tone hatch texas spirit pickups with the guitar fetish 
is it the XGP or something, I think is a, their premium wiring kit. I mean, I think they do pretty good. They're pretty good. They're full size pots, got a decent switch. Wired up, I get them already wired, saves me a lot of time, never had an issue. Plus you can use the import style knobs with the big pots where CTS you're gonna have to change your your tent your these you gotta change these <laughs> knobs there we go so the 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 tone hatch pickups are like I say the Texas Spirit and they're uh they're excellent I tried doing a sound demo you know I was gonna kind of start the video out man in this shop it sounded horrible. I mean, without an interface or something to plug into straight, micing it up, oh, it sounded terrible. It sounded, as, it sounded as bad as those old standard pickups, the stock ones. Not that it sounded bad, it just did over the camera. So if you want to look up how the Texas Spirit Tone Hatch pickup sound, there's go to YouTube. Everywhere there's some good demos on there. They're Almaco 5s, they got great, uh, what is it, the wire, uh, Vomar, whatever it is, wire, uh, great bobbins, I mean really quality made, the screws are like so good, the screws are so hard, they're not that old soft stuff, it just wants to strip out, everything's really quality, came with the old, you know, surgical tubing type stuff for the, instead of springs. Uh, you can order them either staggered or flat. I got these flat because the only time I really like staggered is with a seven and a quarter inch radius. I think anything flatter, this is nine and a half. I think anything flatter than that, it, it's hard to get it to come out right to my ear. So I, you can order them either way. Uh, they're like 6K, let's see, I think. The middle's a little hot. I can't remember the exact readings on them. You can look it up, but they're great. I mean, they sound absolutely amazing. And it's these things are on sale for like 79 bucks a set. And I can't believe it. I don't know how the guy does it. I mean, it, it took like two weeks to him to get around to winding them, and then he shipped them right here quick. That, that won't be the last set of these I get. They're really, really good. And this bridge pickup has the steel plate on the bottom like a kind of like a telecaster would have really makes the bridge more wider less shrill uh, and then too I did wire this to where the tone it is on the bridge and the neck not the middle so that that helped out too but that that these pickups are great. I mean, for for a lot more money. I mean, he wouldn't have any trouble selling them for two or three hundred dollars a set, in my opinion. So, tone hatch. That's you know, if I happen to get where I can get the possibility of doing a better sound demo, I'll demo at some point in time. Uh, put in a Mexican trim with a big block in the back. Uh, only issue I'm having with this is possibly the set screws are a little loose in the saddle and I'm having a little trouble getting my string height so I may have to put some kind of chewing gum or something on them. Uh, set of uh, Cluson tuners to get rid of the old, the old cheapo, you know, import tuners. Bone nut, done the bone nut, got it all straight. So, you know, uh, that's about it. I mean, and it's great. It resonates real well. Got a good weight to it. I mean, you know, for what I got in it, it's a great guitar. I love to play. It plays great. The frets, it's going to need some frets in the in the future, depending on how much I play it. Don't think this will be going nowhere for a while, but it's the Squire Series Fender made in Mexico, and I'm saying made in Mexico. <laughs> I don't think it was U.S. bodies and necks. I'm sorry. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And, uh, 
you know, so that's that's basically it. I had a whole lot more video shot of all the work I done changing this and doing that. And like I say, I may be able to get it back and I may not. I have the worst luck in the world with electronics. So that's uh, that's about all there is to say on this one. So the next thing that we're going to be coming up doing is I'm going to build me a 62 Strat. I can't afford uh, the real 62, so I'm going to build a player grade replica using a, a, a mid 80s uh, E series squad that you know has the it's the ST62. They made some Fender ST62s and some of the E Series Squires were ST62s. So we're gonna, I'm gonna ruin it. And everybody's gonna be like, oh God, don't do that. Well, I'm gonna do it. Cause I'm never gonna sell the guitar and I wanna see if I can make something as close as I can to a 62. So that's gonna be coming up. Probably one of the next videos I'm gonna be stripping down the body going to put a nitrocellulose lacquer finish on it. We're going to go all the way with it. So uh, that's going to be in the next one. But I hate that first, that last video got cut, you know, cut in half. And maybe this one will do better. And if I can come up with that other stuff, I will, guys. So anyway, that's what we got going on. What's coming up. Appreciate everybody. You know, I'm over that thousand subscriber mark, but I really don't care. I'm not going to worry about it. Just going to keep doing what I'm doing, and if you like what you see, you know what to do. Guys, until the next time, see you.